another one we have here is condensation polymerization okay so in condensation polymerization what happens like i said the neutral molecules like h2o and h3 goes out so the second reaction we have look at this reaction this molecule reacts with glycol which is ho ch2 ch2 oh so what happens in this when you heat this h2o molecules goes out H2O molecules goes out, and these two combine. So minus H2O, and the product will be HO, C double bond O, a benzene ring, C double bond O, O C H2, C H2, O H. okay this molecule the name of this molecule is terphthalic acid and this one is glycol the polymer that you get here we call it as terylene polyester or dacron i'll write down the name but first of all you see here these two combines and in the next step you see are two different monomers here so which one we can use in the next step to get the large complex structure polymer structure which of these two monomers we should use in the next step tell me if we want complexity in terephthalic which one that acid thing acha see actually you see this end is an acid right this end is an acid and this is an alcohol so actually we can use any one of these uh you know uh monomers in the next step the only thing is if you use alcohol here the reaction takes place to the acid end if you take acid here then the reaction takes place to the alcohol end got it yes sir right so now you see suppose i am taking this uh acid uh in the next step which is uh in short i'll write down P H C O O H and C O O H. Then the reaction takes place here, right? Alcohol and from here to this C H two, the thing will be same. The structure is H O C double bond O C double bond O. O C H two, C H two, and then again H two O goes out. So this connect with 
an oxygen c double bond o then benzene ring c double bond o oh okay c double bond o oh now you see here in the next step now we are bound to use what we are bound to use only the alcohol because both end we have what we have acid so basically we'll go alternate in this way okay first we can use in the first step we get this and then we can use any one of these monomer alcohol or acid but if you use alcohol here next will be acid if you use acid here next will be alcohol and like like that will go alternate okay now the thing is if this reaction takes place i'll write down one more step here the product is this we get after this reaction the product is this we have h o c double bond o c double bond o o c h 2 c h 2 o c double bond o and then we'll have a ring c double bond o o c h 2 c h 2 o h this is the product we get after this reaction now you tell me here what is the repeating unit for this um, monomer so for this polymer so give me a minute i'm coming yes. tell me the find out the repeating unit in this yes tell me the repeating unit sir is it uh, o c double bond o phenyl c double bond o o ch2 ch2 o i think it's only till ch2 ch2 till ch2 ch2 oh yeah that comes from the other thing. Okay. So the repeating unit here is from uh, this C double bond O. We'll take this here. This C double bond O to this oxygen and uh, one change I have to do here. This is uh, OH and this is. This side also the chain we have is this, which is uh, OH here, and this will take this hydrogen. This hydrogen. So repeating unit is this. So this you should know for a given uh, polymer. And what kind of the name of this polymer is? We call it as uh, terylene okay which we also known as this as polyester because you see cor group we have so it is polyester okay and the common name is dacron also d a c r o n dacron okay so all these names are important so basically dacron or polyester or terylene is a copolymer or homopolymer it's a copolymer. It is a copolymer because two different monomer we are using. So that's what you need to keep in mind. Okay. The difference in this condensation and addition polymerization is what? That this reaction we can stop at any step. You won't heat it. Reaction won't go in the next step. Okay. So this can be stopped. The reaction is under control. That's what we can... Uh, the reaction is under 
control unlike the addition polymerization where the where we have no control on the reaction so that's the difference we have here okay some more example we'll see can you tell me the formula of adipic acid yes don't know sir don't know i have given you this though in carboxylic acid chapter could you repeat which acid uh, adipic acid just a second adipic acid don't know do you remember this it's ch2 coh here we have coh and this is n times so if n is 0 what is the name of the molecule because it is coh coh because there is no ch2 present in between when n is 0 when n is 1 malonic acid when n is 2 succinic acid when n is 3 glutaric acid when n is 4 it is adipic acid and when n is 5 it is pimelic acid okay so i have given you this how do you memorize this 0 to 5 n o m s g a p remember this ohms cap yes so this you must remember it helps you in uh, you know getting the formula of the molecule so adipic acid and hexamethylene diamine so adipic acid the formula is h o o c ch2 what is the n value for adipic acid 4 so this is 4 C O O H, and this combines with hexamethylene diamine. Okay, so hexamethylene diamine is this C H two N H two. Here also we have N H two. Hexamethylene so C H two six. Got it. So the second one is. this molecule is hexamethylene diamine okay when condensation takes place between the two h2o molecules goes out and it forms the product here is h o c double bond o ch2 Four C double bond O O combines with NH. Should we have O? We don't have O here. Sorry. C double bond O O H and H forms H two O, and it gives uh, N H C H two. Six N H two. This is the compound we get. The repeating unit, if you see, it is from this C double bond O to. Oh, uh, I'll write down this way. Wait. Hydrogen. The repeating unit will be from here to this hydrogen. n times of this gives you the polymers okay so 
this molecule this polymer in general we call it as polyamide why polyamide because in this we have amide linkage co nh bond so it is an amide linkage okay so in the polymer like this we have many amide linkage that's why we call it as polyamide okay and this commercial name of polyamide we also call it as nylon what 66 sir does condensation polymerization happen only for uh, copolymers not necessary uh um it is possible with uh, homopolymers also if you have suppose two molecules of adipic acid then also it's possible okay but uh, uh but yes in that case you'll get um, um a molecule which has a bond of c double bond o o c double bond o okay so that is an ester kind of molecule you will get but it is possible with um, homopolymers also in homopolymers also like two carboxylic acid may combine so no? water molecules go out goes out so it is possible over there also condition but will be different ha huh? it may stop after dimer itself no sir because it will oh, become fine. so dimer is also dimer is also a polymer no and why would is it is it stop suppose one end we have this end we have cooh open okay then we can un take another single acid this end we have then is open no suppose we have cooh co is this side also these two react you'll get a dimer this end and this end is open so now this end will react or this end will react So like this, it goes. If condition But, is not there, then it stops, huh? Won't there be any repulsion because it's the same type? If you compare, yes, there will be. If you, but the question whether it is possible or not, it's possible. Yes, yes, sir. Okay, thank you. Okay. Yeah, nylon six six is a commercial name for this. This six and six stands for the number of carbon atom in the two monomer. Here you see. The number of carbon atom is six, four, five, and six. So this six and six represents, right down here, the number of carbon atom present in the monomer. Okay. So this. Uh, polyamides. Nylon sixty-six is a polyamide. Okay, it has amide linkage, hence it is polyamide, CONH.